just a, I think this confidence and this, I mean, I guess it's being a step up a step up to play. Congratulations on the national championship. Is this your missing line? Huh? Is this your Yeah, this is my team right now. Just being in the green room with my family tomorrow is going to be amazing. That's been my whole dream. You're bringing your family to the draft? Yeah, yeah they, they, they come in later on tonight. night. That's fantastic. So uh, right now teams are talking about you in the middle of the first round. Uh, you see some other teams there. You see, you see, see, see things you can bring to those teams? Yeah, I think I, think I bring some uh, some special to every team. Defense, for my defense in, and be able to shoot the, being able to shoot the three. So I think, I think I can help the team out right now. What have you learned from your brother? Um, just work hard every day. That's, that's, what, that's the one thing he lacked on during you know, this couple of years, and he be able to work hard every day. So I was, every time I step on the court, I'm going to give up. What days did you start playing basketball? Huh? What days did you start playing basketball? Uh, I started playing when I was probably like 10, 10 9, 10, something like that. You ever played any other sports in high school? I've never played anything else. Okay, Circuit basketball. I'm too skinny to play anything else. <laughs> What do you think is going to be your biggest transition from the college sports? Uh, getting strong. That's going to take, take us a little time. Just getting strong and just building, building up and getting ready, getting ready for the long season we got. On growing up, who was your favorite player? Um, MJ, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? I was like how you play against uh, He always tried to dunk on somebody. He attacked every time. I'm attacking him every time. That's, I, just love, I just love how you play the game. Brandon, uh, so some people, some teams are saying that you might be the safest pick in this year's draft. Uh, why do you think they're saying that? How do you oh. feel about that? <laughs> I don't know why they're saying that, but I feel that I bring something to the special to the team, like on the defensive end, and then being able to shoot the ball too. So that helps out a lot too. Does that give you a sense of confidence that you know that teams know what you bring to the table and they know what to expect, and you know maybe they would draft you knowing what your role would be yeah, already? Yeah, yeah. That, I think that's the same. That's what they mean by being the safe pick. Right. Um, what, do, what do you think your draft range is right now? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a clue yet. I'm here, so it's, it's some, some, something happens. something's going to happen. Either. There's some talk about some teams wanting to trade up maybe to get you. For example, Cleveland. Have you heard any, any talk I about heard, that? I heard a few, uh, few uh, rumors like that, but wouldn't know for sure to them all. You think LeBron needs to be worried about you stealing his minutes? <laughs> nah, he ain't going to steal none of his minutes. He, got, <laughs> he can have them. <laughs> How much in contact have you been with Darrell through this process? Uh, I talked to him last night. He's supposed to be a bird tonight. Uh, so I kept in contact with him pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get him heads up on what, what, what he needs to be prepared for. Oh, you mean in terms of workouts? Or yeah, just, it's, just a workout and, and all the travel because I went through this when I came my house. So. Right, exactly. How is this set of workouts different than you know, what you did last year in terms of the pre draft camp? Uh, the, the difference is you sit in the hotel all day. You sit in the hotel all day, then you got to go work out in the morning, and then travel to another spot. It was just, it was just kept, it was just nonstop, nonstop all the time. Is there anywhere where you felt like you had a better workout than someone else? Uh, I was going to say Central? Golden State. I had a, a real good workout in Golden State. Then my, my, my worst workout was in Cleveland. I did a pretty good job. I mean, I did a bad job in Cleveland that night. So. <laughs> Frank, when you, when you look at some of the mock drafts, do you pay attention to how your name kind of climbs? You've been one of the guys that kind of gone from the lower first round to middle and now maybe even a, a top ten potentially. Do you look at any of that stuff? No, I don't try. I try not to look at that because you want to know until the day, until the day comes, and that will be tomorrow. So I try not to pay too much attention to it. Brandon, is there more to your game that we haven't seen at Kansas? You had a pretty defined role. You had a lot of, you know, and future NBA players in your team. Is there more that we're going to see at the next level? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to bring out some. I'm going to try to work on some things I need. To, I need to work on while I was at Kansas. Ball handling, being able to make decisions under pressure, and just, just making the making the right decisions too. So, some teams have questioned your aggressiveness at times. They say mm -hmm. that is that something that you acknowledge as a problem? Uh, no, I wouldn't acknowledge that was a problem. I think we just had to, had that type of team that I didn't need to take all the shots. Right. All the time, so. Okay. Thank you. How much does it help you to have gone through?